Well, here we are again on the Gospel Porch. This is your host, Gary Graves, saying hi, y'all. Man, every time I get in this chair, I get excited because we're going to play some fantastic bluegrass gospel just for you. And uh, as we play this group today, just keep your mind and hearts open. And uh, you might get a little nudge of the Holy Spirit today because it's certainly going to be in this program. Uh, we're going to be featuring Timber and Nails. They're out of Kentucky. And uh, it just seemed like that uh, those hills of Kentucky and the Carolinas and all down through there, even over into Virginia, just begin to just sprout up all kinds of good bluegrass groups. Uh, so we're appreciative of them today letting us use their uh, their music, and we're going to have a great time, fun time. And uh, the first song we're going to play, I like it, I've heard it before, and it just simply says, Take off your shoes, Moses. Take it away, Steve. I'll be back here in a little bit. <laughs> You're on holy ground, holy ground, Lord, holy ground. Take your shoes off, Moses. You're on holy ground, for I am the Lord thy God. God spoke to Moses at the burning bush, the burning bush, son, the burning bush. God spoke to Moses at the burning bush, said, I am the Lord thy God. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, holy ground, Lord, holy ground. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, for I am the Lord thy God. Moses smite that rock, smite that rock, son, smite that rock. Oh, over yonder, Moses smite that rock, for I am the Lord thy God. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, holy ground, Lord, holy ground. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, for I am the Lord thy God. See salvation work, see salvation work, see salvation work. Stand still, Moses, see salvation work, for I am the Lord thy God. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, holy ground, Lord, holy ground. Take your shoes off, Moses, you're on holy ground, for I am the Lord thy God. Take your shoes off, Moses. I like. I like that. I've heard it before from other groups, but uh, this guy is. Uh, there's a gal in there. They just do a wonderful job of it. Take your shoes off, Moses, because he said, "You know what? You fix to have a uh, conversation with the I am. So take them shoes off and get yourself ready for a message to go lead my people out of Egypt." Uh, Timber and Nails, a group, are featuring today, and. And every time we find one of these groups that, uh, of course, these folks have been retired since uh, 2018. And uh, we're sorry about that, but we find their music and want to keep playing their music and keep their, uh, I can just keep them alive uh, into the hearts and minds of bluegrass people out there. And uh, again, we are thankful that you join us. Um, this is our way of ministering to you. And uh, before this day is done, before this podcast is put in a can, put away for the night, uh, we want something that we say, something we play to touch your heart. And uh, I guess you can tell 
uh, by looking and hearing that uh, God has been so gracious and so kind to me and I'm feeling better and better and better every day and I just know one thing God is a God of promise and uh, he promised me I would live and not die and I claim that in Jesus name anyway back to the uh, her group we're featuring today I get to talk about myself you know well uh, the vanity somebody said I was a vain person maybe I am a little bit but uh, I, I just like being out here talking to y'all and sharing this great music all right uh, the group by let me let me just read one little line or so it says we are a bluegrass gospel group with the prayer that will be a blessing and a light to those we meet for the purpose of bringing lost souls to Christ the saved to revival and glory to the Lord and that's an awesome awesome line up of things they want to do to please the Lord uh, this next uh, song says uh, a little bit higher and uh, I just believe God has the ability to lift us up no matter what we're going through we don't understand it uh, sometimes we ask why then we shake ourselves and say well God you know why and leave it all in God's hands so this one says a little bit higher and uh, listen to the vocals strong vocals and uh, good musicians take it away Steve a little bit higher by Timber and Nails <laughs> things we haven't gone through and uh, we're thankful for that but uh, there are some things we do face and God gives grace he really does and uh, helps us through them. Uh, give a shout out to a lot of folks we're getting new listeners every week 
people are finding the gospel porch and I I, I can't tell you how much we need you to, to um, email us or jump on Facebook or the, this uh, uh, YouTube platform you know because uh, it lets us know that you're out there and I mean, my heart just swells uh, when I think about people hearing the good news of Jesus Christ and this good gospel bluegrass music. <clears throat> My throat's still a little weak today, but man, I feel like a million bucks, and uh, we're going to have a great time <clears throat> in the remainder of this program. Uh, if I fade out a little bit, it's just me. Don't worry about it. Don't adjust your set. Everything's all right. Uh, again, this group, uh, they have a desire, and one desire when they were on the road to lift up the name of Jesus. And what an awesome, what an awesome thing to get people out there that uh, they get into an auditorium. There may be a thousand people there, there may be 500, maybe five. But wherever they go, they always lift up the same message that Jesus saves and his blood washes whiter than snow. Um, this next one sort of goes hand in hand, three nails and a tree. Uh, I, we're talking about the crucifixion of Jesus, and we forget about how uh, grueling, how horrible his, uh, his death that he paid for us, uh, how he paid it with his body, with his life. So uh, we're going to play some more uh, about the crucifixion. Hang on. And when there is a light at the end of the tunnel, we call it Resurrection Day. And uh, But listen to the next song. It's Three Nails and a Tree by Timber Nails out of the state of Kentucky. At the place of the school, God got the heat. Jesus Christ, the word fulfilled. He laid out his life. There's we to say, man, he's the king of kings and the Lord of lords. His blood ran down with steel and gold. He suffered it all so I could go free and build. begin to realize the pain and the suffering he did there on Calvary's hill but uh, he did it for us 
uh, you know, he uh, he didn't need saving. We were the one that needed saving. And uh, boy, did he do a good job. Uh, I'm, I'm one to tell you that when Jesus saves you, you know you are. There's no guessing about it. There's no I hope I am. <clears throat> I guarantee you, once you come in contact with that saving blood and the sacrifice of Jesus on Calvary, you know without a doubt you've been saved. And I'm glad I'm saved. Man, what an awesome, awesome song. Three nails and a tree. We become part of that equation. And uh, just uh, you'll find out what I mean as we go about today. Uh, the next song, uh, let me get my cheat sheet over here so I'll make sure I'm on track. Uh, so I do mess up every once in a while. Um, no, I know. I, I know y'all don't believe that, but every once in a while I do. Uh, this one simply uh, has the same title as their group name, Timber and Nails. And um, let, let's play it off that album, Nothing But the Blood. Listen to Timber and Nails. <laughs> I've often wondered why this man called Jesus so freely would give up his life. A search made in heaven found no one worthy to be the supreme sacrifice. Then he came, thank God for his name, like a child to his father would go. A great price was paid on Calvary that day, his blood our sins to atone. There's not a sin in this old wicked world that Jesus could not make right. But the love of a Savior for the sins of so many on a cross kept him held tight. Angels were waiting and Mary knelt praying God's precious Son would not fail. His blood stained the cross to save all the lost and we were his timber and nails Stone couldn't hold him and death could not keep him It happened on the third morning Mary couldn't find him, the tomb it was empty So she ran back for Peter and John They ran together to the place where they lay him Jesus is gone, they said As they knelt there a praying They heard someone saying, why seek ye the living among dead? There's not a sin in this old wicked world that Jesus could not make right. But the love of a Savior for the sins of so many on a cross kept him held tight. Angels were waiting and Mary knelt praying God's precious Son would not fail. His blood stained the cross to save all the lost and we were his timber and nails In this old wicked world that Jesus could not make right But the love of the Savior for the sins of so many on a cross Kept him held tight Angels were waiting and Mary knelt praying God's precious Son would not fail His blood stained the cross to save all the lost And we were his tender and nail Bloodstained the cross to save all the lost, and we were his timber and nails. We're all his timber and nails. We were.
were at the timbers and nails. That's a pretty good thought right there. I told you that uh, Jesus came for us. He didn't come for himself. So we became uh, part of the equation there when he talked about the crucifixion. If there had to been no need for a Savior, Jesus would have come, but there was a need, and so he came. And uh, I like the whole story about Jesus. I like it from the, the cradle to the grave, and I even like it to uh, pass that old empty tomb that he's coming again. And I'm glad that he is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And timber and nails, my goodness, I am... Uh, <clears throat> Don't want to ever lose sight of how much he suffered for me and you. And uh, thank God for it. He did it. And I'm glad that he did. Uh, that was song number four. Man, we're getting through uh, this program too quick, so we'll slow it down a little bit. And uh, this next song will <laughs> probably be an oxymoron. It says, Sinner, you can run, but you can't hide. So here I'm talking about speeding it up or slowing it down. And the song says, Sinner, you can't run. Listen to it. And uh, I think you're going to like it. I do. I ain't found one yet. I hadn't. And I think you'll like this too. Sinner, you can't run. <laughs> call on a day just like today I just held on to the pew and turned my eyes away the choir sang out softly do not let the word depart somewhere in their song I heard it into my heart Sinner you, you can, can run but you can't hide You can't keep this locked inside The choice is yours I can't make you go I love you You need me I wish that you could see Blessings I have planned for you alone. I know you're scared. I'm right by your side. Said you can run, but you can't Can't it just be enough to say that I believe? The preacher says it's someone here, but does he know it's me? Right now one small step feels like a giant leap of faith. This time I hear his voice and he calls me by name sinner you can run but you can't hide you can't keep this locked inside the choice is yours and i can't make you go i love you you need me i wish that you could see Blessings I have planned for you alone I know you're scared I'm right by your side Sinner, you can run But you can't hide You must come while he's calling Can you still hear his voice? You've been running out for so long time you made your choice Sinner, you can run, but you can't hide You can't keep this locked inside The choice is yours I can't make you go I love you, you need me How I wish that you could see 
Blessings I have planned for you alone I know you're scared I'm right by your side Sinner, you can run But you can't hide I know you're scared I'm right by your side Sinner, you can run But you can't hide mm -mm. Sinner, you can run But you can't hide you know, I, that song right there just touched a chord in my heart. Uh, sometimes we uh, have opportunities and, and chances to make the right choice, and we just don't do it. And uh, later on in life, you know, we look back and say, man, I wish I would have done this earlier and gave my heart to Jesus when I was younger. And uh, But, you know, today we are giving you an opportunity, a chance, a privilege to come to know him. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, would I do it different? Yeah, I would start serving him earlier, younger, with more fervency and more desire. Uh, you know, I haven't wasted my life. I really haven't. I've lived for him uh, the majority of my life. But you know, when I think about that choice, uh, the Bible said, you know, uh, in one scripture, it's appointed unto man once to die, and then after that, the judgment. We know. We're not getting out of here alive. The rapture is going to change us, or if we go by the grave, uh, whatever uh, means God chooses to take us home, we're getting out of here. But uh, I want to make the choice today to serve him more. I mean, really serve him more. The last few weeks, the last few months, uh, it's made me more aware of how fragile that life is and how easy it is just to sidestep a decision and say, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, next year, whatever. Uh, but what if it never comes? What if the next chance, the next opportunity, what if it never comes? Where would you stand? Where would you be? Uh, I would trust today that uh, there would be a desire in your heart to know Jesus. You know, it hurts my heart to know that you're out there and not living for Jesus and you're going to miss it. and uh, But so I'm going to pray that God will soften you just a little bit more. and Perhaps he'll leave a little crack there and you can let Jesus come into your life. Lord, today, I'm so thankful that you love me enough to come to Calvary and die for my sins. It was nothing, Lord, that I could do except wait for you to come and be my sacrifice. Any work that I do, anything that I do, Lord, is really not of any consequence. The main work was done at Calvary, and all I'm doing is accepting that prize you paid. Today, oh God, I pray that you would deal with hearts and deal with souls and friends and loved ones we have that are still outside the ark of safety. Let them feel the touch and let them feel the tug, I pray in Jesus' name. Let them know that you love them. You love them, and they need you. I ask it in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. You know, the reason why I guess I'm a little emotional today is because we, about every day we hear of tragedies. We hear of people going on, and uh, one of our neighbors, our dear neighbor friends, uh, just lost a brother in a car accident. And we hear of deaths. We hear of people being sick, and and uh, so it really hurts us in our heart, but we know that God can take care of them if we'll just let him. Amen. I want to play some more music, in the, uh, but I'm glad. I am so glad, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, that I'm, I'm thankful you tag along with us every Saturday. I just don't know. I, I don't understand why people don't want to serve Jesus, but we're trying our best to, to give you the reasons why you should. And uh, before we're through, I hope somebody's kneeling behind uh, that old rocking chair and uh, just pouring their hearts out to a Savior that loves them. Maybe at a sofa. Maybe you're outside kneel by a hay bale somewhere saying, Jesus, I need you. And he certainly will come. My, my, my. Let me get on here. I am having myself a good time today. I believe we're on number six if I don't lose my, lose my space. But, uh, 
the number six song says i've come too far and uh listen to it i've come too far by timber nails <laughs> Set my feet up on solid ground. I've come too far to turn back now. I've come too far. I've come too far. I've come too far. I've come too far. The sinful world is sinful. It is not my home. It's not my home. I cannot rest till the trumpet sounds. I've come too far. I've come too far to turn back now. Come too far to turn back now. I've come too far. I've come too far. I've prayed too long. I've prayed too long. The sinful world, the sinful world is, is not my home. It's not my home. I cannot rest. I cannot rest. I cannot rest. I've come too far. I've come too far to turn back now. Savior's face. He has prepared for me a place. I must press on towards higher ground. I've come too far to turn back now. I've come too far. I've come too far. I've prayed too long. I've prayed too long. This sinful world, this sinful world is not my home. It's not my home. I cannot rest till the trumpet sounds. I've come too far. I've come too far. Amen to that. I've come too far to turn back now. I guarantee you that is a gospel truth if I ever heard it. Uh, because I've gained more and uh, and I'm, kill- I'm still gaining. I'm still gaining territory and I hate it uh, for the end of the journey. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Give a shout out to all of our friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, my friends out there who uh, uh, they just have been sending uh, cards and letters and different things telling us they're praying for me. And, uh, boy, I like that. I like people to pray for me. I guess I'm just a big head when it comes to prayer. Pray for them all you want. And, uh, after all, I need to help and y'all need to practice. So keep on praying for uh, old Gary that will uh, just continue to have strength to be in this chair every Saturday and have a great time. You know, the sad part about it is that uh, uh, somebody doesn't know about us yet. So that's why I'm depending on you. I am trusting that you'll be a blabbermouth. And tell somebody about the gospel porch and let us know. Amen. Let them know that uh, <laughs> we know where you're at, Gary. You're on the gospel porch. Thank you. Thank you. I tell you what, I appreciate uh, the sound man today, old brother Steve behind the camera. And you may think it's uh, not much of a job, but uh, he has to watch him to make sure I don't mess up. And uh, he has a mute button. Every once in a while, he has to mute me because I get to talking and uh, he don't want me to do too much talking. And uh, but anyway, uh, thank you, Brother Steve, and uh, we'll go on with some more, <laughs> with some more singing and playing. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed the style of their music in a couple of songs we played. It almost seems like there's two or three people playing the same part on different instruments. Banjo, mandolin, maybe they're all sort of uh, uh, syncopating together there, but it uh, sounds really good. That's a different sound. Some of them's got a different sound. And uh, I didn't say different was bad. Different is good. Different is good. Uh, the next song is called Smooth Sailing. And uh, I've been out on the ocean a few times. Uh, we lived out in Northern California for a little stay. And... Uh, Hey, every once in a while, you wouldn't find uh, the ocean quite smooth. Matter of fact, it'd be pretty rough. And uh, so, sort of like this journey that we're in, some days might be good, some days might not be quite so smooth. But uh, listen to this song, and maybe it'll bring some clarity to us. Smooth Selling by Timbers and Nails. Oh, 
body was weak, but his faith was still strong. The doctors had told him he didn't have long. He said the Lord never promised his flurry beds He's already shown me how the end will be. He said the trip may be rough down the bank to the river. And I know that I'll suffer with pain more and more. When I take that last step On board to cross Jordan She'll be smooth sailing To the other shore Fifty-one years He served the Master Delivered his word, and though his journey is through, his reward he is reaping, and by the grace of God, someday I'll claim what to the trip may. Take that last step on board to cross Jordan. She'll be smooth sailing to the other shore. Just throw your head back and carry on Cause there's too many miles and trials behind us To ever think of going anyway but home The trip may Take that last step on board to cross Jordan. She'll be smooth sailing to the other shore. She'll be smooth sailing to the other shore. sailing. I guarantee you the journey can get a little rough at times, but uh, once we get on board that old gospel ship and get across the old Jordan's River and uh, enter that promised land, it's going to be worth it all. I guarantee 
he is going to be worth this serving Jesus. I don't care what you say. You know, I have to give up this. I have to give up that. You know what? I don't give up anything to serve the Lord. Amen. He is not an option either that I just tack on. But the things that I begin to leave behind, it's my desire just to leave them behind because I'm grabbing for a better prize, and his name is Jesus. You know, people today walk through this world and. You know, they're always trying to grab, and they're always trying to get, and they're always trying to do better. And and sometimes we begin to sidestep responsibilities when it comes to home and family and church. And, and uh, I don't want you to do that anymore. I want you to give responsibilities to uh, the things that uh, need to be. And, um, you know, your church attendance is very important. I go to church every time that I possibly can. The church doors are open. We're a busy church around the sanctuary. UPC of Mountain View. My goodness, we have more. I to me now, and I, you may differ, but I think we got the best pastor there are. Uh, Paul Mice, Paul Dean Mice, and uh, he is my shepherd. He is my friend. He is my confidant, and uh, I'm proud to be a member of the Sanctuary UPC of Mountain View, Arkansas. And uh, we're just partners in this, and uh, we're we're gaining ground. Yes, we are. Our church is about maxed out. We're going to have to do something. Get another box of nails, I guess, and start hanging people on the wall. We're running out of chairs. Uh, but uh, I believe I hear building in the future. Yeah, we're going to build bigger, better, uh, for more people to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, y'all forgive me. I guarantee you. I, I know I'm just full of it. Uh, when I was born, I had to come out kicking and screaming because I've been doing it for 74 years now. Just trying to make a little impression. I want you to let you know that I love you and care for you, and Jesus does too. Uh, we got one more song to play, and uh, when I read the title of it, I hadn't heard the song. It says, When I Get Home. When I read the title, I thought, you know, homecomings are always, you know, very special times. We, uh, we go to a reunion from year to year or from two or three years down the road, and we notice that this one's missing or that one's missing or and uh, we begin to see how time does take a toll and time does sometimes run out for us on this side of eternity and we step over into glory land where there is no time but this one just talks about when i get home and uh you know what one of these days we're going to be home i mean this is not our home this is a, just a place we are been blessed with to get ready to go home but when our time comes to go home uh trust me when i get there don't call me back leave me where I am in the arms and presence of the Lord uh, again just forgive this old boy for rambling too much today and uh, but I'm excited that's 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 where I am brother Myers I'm excited to see what God is doing and God's going to do okay this last song says when I get home when I get home we've been featuring uh, timber and nails today and they've been doing an awesome job for us so listen to this song and uh, i'll be right back oh i want to see the face of my jesus see my loved ones that have gone on before i want to sing around the throne of god eternal Joy at his feet forevermore. I want to see those walls made of jasper. I want to feel the gold underneath my feet. I want to walk down alongside the river and see the mansion that's away. Through the gate when I get 
What a song to end the program with when I get home. Wow. You know, uh, uh, that, that won't take a whole, a whole lot of time, but uh, I just want to share one little story and, and uh, trust to leave you in a, in a better mood or a little happier mood. <clears throat> you know, uh, I was born in a little town in Arizona called El Mirage. The Mirage. And... Uh, when I was uh, growing up, uh, little houses sprung up here and there and finally made a community. And uh, we've gone back from time to time for uh, whatever the case may be for, you know, a reunion. And I'd always have to go down Palm Street. Uh, that's where I spent most of my life as a youngin' and uh, didn't get out of there till I got married and married a wife and uh, moved on to other places. But uh, I would always want to go down by Palm Street and see the old house. And uh, every time we drive by, we always call it, there's where I lived. That was my house right there. And really, it wasn't our house. You know, it's temporary, the thing uh, that we built and lived in sort of sheltered us from the elements. But uh, that's really not home. We call it home, but home is where Jesus is. And uh, so I want to excite you today to get on board with me that we are headed for our final destination. Heaven's it. Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. <clears throat> you believe in God, believe also in me. And you know what? Every time I think about leaving this world, I don't get sad, but I get happy. <laughs> because I know where I'm going. I do. I made my calling and election sure. This old robe of flesh is going to be laid down one day or raptured out of here somehow. But when it happens... You know, I know without a doubt today, and I'm talking to somebody, I know without a doubt where my soul is bound. And don't you dare hurt my feelings and not join me in heaven's parade. I guarantee you it's coming, and it's nearer than we think. It really is. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm glad that you pulled up a chair and joined us on the gospel porch today. And uh, this is your host that tells you I love you. All you folks out there in Arizona, I've got kin folks out there that love me, and I love y'all too. Amen. Keep on joining us on the Gospel Porch. Until next time, if there be a next time, this is Gary saying love you. God bless. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>